Let's go to page 476, start with number 1. Okay, so this one you have 7, 9, 11, 13, and you have missing two numbers. Okay, so you want to see if uh, it's arithmetic or geometric, okay, or neither. And you want to get the missing numbers. Okay, so this one you can see that from here to here, so first you want to try to see if it's arithmetic. So this would be plus two, plus two, plus two. So see, so you have a common difference. So in this case, this is arithmetic, okay? And therefore the missing number would be 15 and 17. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you have 1, 3, 9, 27, question mark, question mark. Now usually, when the number is kind of increasing or decreasing, if the numbers are changing slowly, uh, you want to try arithmetic. If the numbers are changing uh, rapidly, like this one over here, then you want to try geometric. Okay, so from here to here, you have to multiply by 3. From here to here, you have to multiply by 3. So again, you have to check all the numbers to make sure that all of them are the same. Okay, so in this case, you can see that it's a geometric, right? So this is geometric, and you have to multiply by 3, so it would be 81 and be 243. Okay. Let's go to number 5. So you have 3, question mark, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, and question mark. Okay, so the number doesn't vary that fast, so let's try arithmetic. So from here to here to minus 3, minus 3, and so in this case, you, you're going to have d equal to negative 3, okay? So this one minus 3 will give you 0, and this one minus 3 will give you negative 12. And so this is arithmetic. Okay. okay, let's go to number 7. Okay, so you got 1, 1 over 4, 1 over 9, 1 over 16, 1 over 25, and blank, blank. Okay, so you can try. So notice they don't add up, they don't, you don't add the same thing to get the next one. So this is not an arithmetic, and it's also not a geometric because you cannot multiply the same amount to get to the next one. Okay, so this is neither. And now, so if it's neither, you have to go by pattern. So you want to put this as a fraction. Notice all these are fraction, so put on a fraction. So, so since it's a fraction, when you have a fraction, you want to do the top and bottom individually. So notice the top is always one. So it'd be just one, right? The top is always one. On the bottom, notice it's a perfect square. So this is one square, two square, three square, four square, five square. So six square would be 36, seven square would be 49. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so again, a reminder, when you have fraction, do the top and the bottom separately, okay? So it'd be a little bit easier. Okay, number nine. You got two over three, three over four, four over five, and then you have the missing numbers. So again, this is neither because you cannot keep adding the same amount to get to the next one. You cannot more keep multiplying the same amount to get to the next one. Okay, so this is neither. Again, all you have to do is you can find the, to find a common difference, use a term minus the one before, and you can see they're gonna be different. To find a common ratio, use a term, divide by the previous term, and again, you're gonna get different numbers. So therefore, it's neither. So again, when you have fraction, you have to do it by pattern. So this is two, three, four, so it'd be five, six. This would be three, four, five, so it'd be six, seven. Okay, and that's it for those two numbers. Okay, let's go to number 11. You have the formula T of N equal to two N plus one. And you want to find the first four terms. Okay, so 
first four terms, so T1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. So this is the only few times you want to go sideways. So this will equal to 3. T2, it will be 2 times 2 plus 1. This will equal to 5. T3, equal to 2 times 3 plus 1, equal to uh, 7. And then T4, equal to 2 times 4 plus 1, equal to 9. Okay? And so this is arithmetic, right? Because this is plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, right? So D equal to 2. So this is arithmetic. Okay. Okay, let's go to 13. Okay, number 13, yeah, T of N equal to 5 to the N minus 1. So T1 equal to 5 to the 1 minus 1. So this will equal to 5 to a 0 equal to 1. T2 equal to 5 to the 2 minus 1. So this would be, you know, let's do one more step. So 5 to the 0 equal to 1. It would be 5 to the 1, so equal to 5. T3 equal to 5 to the 3 minus 1. Equal to 5 to the 2, equal to 25. Okay, T2, T4 equal to 5 to the 4 minus 1. Equal to 5 to the 3, will be 125. So in this case, you have to multiply by 5, right? So in this case, R equal to 5. And therefore, this is geometric. Okay, okay let's go to 15. Yep, T of N equal to negative 2 uh, to the N over 8. So T of 1 equal to negative 1 to the 1 over 8. So it'd be negative 1 over 8. T2 would be equal to negative, oh wait, this is uh, negative 2, like up. So, be, so negative 2 over 8 would be negative 1 over 4. Okay, next one would be negative 2 to the 2 over 8. So this would be equal to 4 over 8 equal to 1 half. Uh, you know, that, that's going to do it. That's going to do it one more step. Okay, so it would be negative 1 over 4. There you go. Okay, t3 will equal to negative 2 to the 3 over 8. This will equal to negative 8 over 8 equal to negative 1. T to the 4 equal to negative 2 to the 4 over 8. So this will equal to positive 16 over 8 equal to positive 2. Okay, so this one, notice you have to multiply by negative 2. Okay? So multiply by negative 2. So in this case, R equal to negative 2. So therefore, this is a geometric. Okay? And these are your four terms. Okay, let's go to 17. Yeah, T of N equal to log base 10 of N plus 1. So T of 1, now, uh, from chapter 10, when you have base 10, you, would, you can just, you know, delete that by default, right? So this is going to be log of 1 plus 1. So this equal to log of 2. T2 equal to log of 2 plus 1, so this will equal to log of 3. T3 equal to log of 3 plus 1, equal to log of 4. T4 equal to log of 4 plus 1, so equal to log of 5. So this is neither. Okay. Okay, let's go to uh, 19. So 19a, what kind of sequence is negative 3, negative 1, 1, oh wait, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, da, 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 da. Well, the number doesn't increase that fast, so let's go and try arithmetic. So this would be plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So d equal to 2, so this is arithmetic. Okay. And 19b. You have 2 to the negative 3, 2 to the negative 1, 2 to the 1, uh, 2 to the 3. 
Well, this is going to be geo geometric, okay? So this one, you have to multiply by 2 to the 2. Uh, multiply by 2 to the 2. Okay, so therefore, geometric. Okay. Again, whenever you deal with something with the exponent, you know it's going to be geometric. Okay, okay 21. So you got 3, 5, 9, 15, 23. Okay, find the next two terms of each sequence by analyzing the pattern of the difference. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to keep the difference. Keep doing the difference. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8. So you can see the pattern. So this is going to be a uh, 10 and 12. So this would be a 33 and be 45. Okay. Okay, let's go to 23. Okay, you got 48, 36, 26, 18, 12. And the next two terms. Okay. Okay, so again, from here to here, you have the minus 12, minus 10, minus 8, minus 6. So you can see the pattern already. So it'd be minus 4, minus 2. So this, so 12 minus 4 will give you 8, 8 minus 2 will give you 6. Okay, so those are your two numbers. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got 1, 3, 7, 15, 31. Okay, missing number, missing number. Okay, so this one you have to plus 2, plus 4, uh, plus 8 plus 16 okay so you can see the pattern already okay it, it doubles right now if you don't see that then what you do is you do it one more layer so it'd be 2 4 8 and notice it just, just keep going to keep repeating right anyway so this is it doubles okay so it'd be a 32 64 so this would be a 63 and this would be 127 Now, if you don't see the pattern, you just keep going, keep going, keep going until you see the pattern. Okay, okay let's go to 27. So you got 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, missing blank. Okay. Now, this one, notice you have to add 0. This would be 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Notice repeats, right? See that it repeats. Except for the first one, I right? notice it repeats. So therefore, because of five, so next number would be eight. Next number would be thirteen. So this would be a twenty-one, and this would be a thirty-four. Okay. Now, notice that it tells you that this is, this is a well-known sequence. It's called a Fibonacci sequence. What you will do is that you, the each number is a sum of the two previous number, right? So notice one plus one give you two. One plus two give you three. 2 plus 3 give you 5, 3 plus 5 give you 8, 5 plus 8 give you 13, 8, uh, 8 plus 13 give you 21, 13, 13 plus 21 give you 34. Now what's so special about this sequence is that no matter how many times you do the difference, it repeats the pattern. Okay? So if you do that, again you plus 1, 0, 1, um, 1, 2, 3, 5. So again, you can see 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. So it's going to keep repeating the pattern over and over, no matter how, time, how many times you do the, the difference. Okay. okay, let's go to 29. So you got 1, 3, 6, 11, 19, 31, and the missing number, missing number. Okay, so you can do the difference. So it'd be plus 2, 3, and this would be 5. This would be a 8, and this would be a 12, and this one you don't know, this one you don't know, so put a box over there. Okay, so you, if you don't see the pattern, then what you do is you just keep repeating it. So this would be plus 1, this would be plus 2, this would be plus 3, this would be plus 4. Now you can see the pattern, right? So this would be a 5, this would be a 6, right? Now, if, let's say if you don't see the pattern, then you should keep going. It would be 1, 1, 1, 1. See that? So you can see the pattern by now, right? Okay, so anyway, so this will give you uh, 17. This will be a 23. 
and therefore this would be a 48 and this would be a, uh, 71 okay and that's it so again when you don't see the pattern you just keep going and if you, if you still don't see the pattern you keep going eventually you will able to see the pattern okay okay let's go to the next one Okay, it says a triangular number can be represented by dots arranged in the shape of an equilateral triangle as shown. The first four triangular numbers are given. Okay, so, so T1 equal to 1. Um, you know, let's go and write this way. So you got 1, so you got T1 is 1, T2 equal to 3, T3 equal to 6, T4 equal to 10. And from the, two, the next two triangular numbers, okay, so you can again using the difference, so it'd be 2, 3, 4, so it'd be 5, so it'd be 15, 6 would be 21. Okay? Now it says from the tenth triangular number without actually drawing a diagram. Okay, so you want to do the, the 10, right? Uh, we kind of run out of space, so let's go and tidy things up a little bit. So it'd be 1, 3, 6. 10, 15, 21, so, so it'd be T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9, T10. Okay, so again, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So this will be a 28, this will be a 36, this will be a 45, and this will be a 55. So T10 equal to 55. Okay, and and that's it. Okay?